knowing that we can enter boldly into the throne room of grace by the blood of the Lamb, by the Holy Spirit. We are so thankful that we can pray and call on the Lord and despite the bark of the devil, despite what he's saying and what he's attempting in your life, if he could have done it, he would have done it a long time ago. But because God has said no, he's not able to carry it out. So I want you to join your faith, extend your faith through the ethereal waves as you listen to this program, which is more than a program. It is the gospel being preached to you. I want you to believe God for that mountain to be moved, that door to be opened, a way to be made that even now seems impossible. But we serve a God who is a God of impossibilities. So as we open these altars in prayer in this church, we're also doing so where you are. Wherever it may be, whatever time of day or night, I want you to extend your faith, reach out, and know that our God is walking up and down the aisles. He's walking up and down the floors. He's in the office space. Wherever you are, wherever you cry out in faith, whether it's outside, whether it's driving, or it's jogging, whatever it may be, know that our God hears your cry. So please come and you is our prayer. And join with us as we pray for you that your needs be met. Jesus Christ, 
that the light of the gospel, the only hope for mankind was shine in these countries, in these waning hours. Oh God, let the gospel go forth. Raise up your children that we may be laborers in your vineyard. Together the harvest for the storm is coming. And Lord, we ask for mighty moving upon our soul. Father, I'm asking that you will go into China and go into Iran and go into Iraq and go into Turkey, go into Indonesia, go into Malaysia, go into Thailand, go into Nepal, go into Burma, go into India, go into Pakistan, go into Afghanistan, go into Russia. Father, we are asking that you will cover the eyes of the sea. And this great story will go forth in might and in power. And I ask, Father, that you will heal the hurts and the afflictions, the scars of life, the emotional scars. There are some that have, have joined us that are scarred, God, because of events that have occurred in their life. Sexual molestation, child abuse. Oh God, I'm asking that you will heal those scars. There are some that were raped. We're asking, Holy Spirit, that you will heal the scars. We ask, Lord, for a miracle. We ask, Father, that you will do it in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask that you will heal that one that even now is, has lost the use of their limbs. We ask, Father, that you restore mobility. We ask that you will heal of arthritis. We ask, Lord, that you will heal of nasal, sinus problems, upper respiratory problems. We ask, God, that you restore breathing in the lungs, that air will again flow. That one that has a collapsed lung, we ask for healing. That one that has lost the lung, we ask that you replace it with a perfect lung in the name of Jesus Christ. Heal God in the intestines. Heal Lord in the bowels. Heal of female disorders. Heal of colon and prostate cancer. Abnormalities. Heal of heart defects. Heal of high blood pressure, sugar diabetes. Heal, Lord, of migraines. Heal, Lord, of all joints and foot problems. Those that are paralyzed, raise them up, God. Raise them up, let them walk once again in the name of Jesus. We ask you to open blinded eyes, touch the ears. We ask, God, that you will move. We take authority over that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I ask that you move in a mighty and powerful way. One that needs a financial blessing. Do it in the name of Jesus. One that needs a healing in the heart, in the home, in the family. Do it in the name of Jesus. One that has unsaved loved ones that they witness to. Father, I'm asking you that you will bring him home. Bring him home. Bring him home. I ask, Father, that you restore marriages. Save that husband. Save that wife. In the name of Jesus. God, don't let that grandma or that grandpa. Don't let them die lost. But God, let them hear the gospel. Let them have an opportunity to hear about Jesus Christ. And Father, I ask that you will do it. I ask you to open up doors, God, in this gospel. This great message of the cross will go forth in all the world for a witness. And Father, use us in every capacity. Strengthen us for the journey, Lord. You are ready to call us home, but we still got some work to do. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. And it's in the name of Jesus Christ I ask it. Amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands. Go around and greet one another this morning in the Lord.